Got an order on your e-commerce store? Congratulations! Let's go over the order screen on AutoDS and understand how the orders work. So here on the left side, I'm going to click on orders. And here we can see all of the orders that I got on my stores. If you have multiple stores, up here on the left side, simply select all of the stores that you would like to see their orders and click on update. Then you'll see all of the orders that you have on all of those stores, whether you selected one or multiple, all on one easy to use page. So let's go over exactly what we're seeing here. First is the product that's actually been ordered. So we can see this item right here. We can see this dog harness right here. And then we can see this product that simply sold multiple times. And as I scroll down, we can see more items that sold. So let's understand exactly what we're seeing here. This is the product and this is the product's name. Then we've got the order statuses. Let's get to know what statuses we have. When an order comes in, it will start in pending status. Unless you have automatic orders enabled. I'm not going to go through that in this video. You can learn all about automatic orders and fulfilled by auto following our how to system tutorials YouTube playlist. So an order will come in in pending status. Then we'll need to process the order using our dropshipping supplier. In order to do that easily, here on the right side, we can see the item ID on our supplier's website and we can also see the order ID on our selling channel. So this item specifically is selling on my Amazon store and this is the buy ID through my supplier's website. This next product that sold, the cat dog pet harness, we can see see that it was sold by AutoDS's private suppliers which we can find on the marketplace and it sold on my Shopify store which is the selling channel. So if I click on the buy ID or in other words the supplier's product ID through AutoDS's private suppliers marketplace. So this is the product that sold right here. We can even send it out with our own branded logo by adding it right here. But let's not get into the specifics just yet. In order to process this order, I'm going to have to have the fulfilled by AutoDS service because that is the automatic order solution that the private suppliers uses. But to keep it simple, under item ID, the buy ID is your supplier and the sell ID is your selling channel where you sold the product on. So let's take a look for example at this spring onion slicer down here. If I hover under the item ID and I click on the AliExpress item ID right here, it will take me to the product page which we can see right here. So if I got an order for this product, we're going to see it first in pending status as I talked about earlier and we're going to have to fulfill this order if we're not using any automated order service. So the first step of course is to add this item to our cart and ship it to the buyer according to the buyer's details on the order details once I click on the thumbnail right here. So as you noticed as soon as I clicked on the item's thumbnail image it popped up the order's details. Here I can see the buyer's full name address, country, state, city, zip code, phone number, so that I'll know exactly where to ship this item on my supplier's website. Next, we have the order details. So once the order has been fulfilled, I'm going to switch the status from pending to ordered, and I can also add an internal note if I wish, along with the buy order ID. So whatever buy order ID I get from AliExpress or from my supplier, I'm going to add it here. The buyer count is not relevant unless you're using automatic orders. Then you've got the buy price. So what is the total price that you paid for this product? In this example, we're seeing $4.37 plus another $5.72 in shipping. So in this case, it's about $10. I'm just rounding it a little bit. And if you paid any taxes, you're going to fill it in here. And here you're going to fill in your fees. So for example, if you're paying 10% fees in order to get your break even, then that is your fees percentage and fees in fixed dollar price if there are any. And now the system will see that the product was ordered. And if I have automatic messages set in my order settings on the settings page on AutoDS, which you can see a video explanation on that, then my buyer will also receive an automatic message as soon as I switch it from pending to ordered. Then last but not least, we've got the product tab, which here you can see the information on the product on your supplier's website. So here you have the supplier, which is AliExpress, the region, which is China, and the buy URL, which is the same URL as we can see right here on the product page. Then we've got the buy variant ID, which is pretty much the same variant ID that we're gonna see in the URL. So that's just the product information. You do not need to go over this unless you're using automatic orders and you want the automatic ordering system to order a different product than the one that was ordered. So as soon as we're done here and we order the product, we're gonna click on save and the status here changes from pending to ordered. Now, once the order was shipped out, we're gonna change the status from order to shipped, and we're gonna add the tracking number along with the shipping carrier. And as soon as we update that, 
it's also going to be updated on our store so in this case on our Shopify store and the status will change to shipped this way the buyer will know that the product is on the way and they'll also be able to track their order now once the product was delivered you can change the status to delivered although it doesn't matter if you change it if you leave it unshipped or switch it to delivered as long as it was shipped out and the buyer has the tracking information we did our parts as the sellers however if you are using the automatic order service you will notice that all of the order statuses change automatically as well as the tracking information updates and the delivered status. So that's a brief explanation of the order statuses and how we can change them. Another status which we can see is awaiting payment. So this is, for example, on eBay, if a customer purchases a product not using the buy it now, for example, they gave you a best offer, you accepted it, so the order was made, but the buyer hasn't paid yet. So it will be an awaiting payment status. And of course, if it was paid, you can update it as paid manually or the system will update it as paid automatically once the system notices that the buyer paid. Now that we're done with the order statuses let's continue with the other columns that we have here next we have estimated arrival date so if you're using automatic orders you're gonna see what is the estimated arrival date for the product once it was ordered you'll also have this icon here completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service if you're using that automated service solution then you've got an internal note which you can add here which is the same note as you can see here if I open up the order details and I click on the order column we have the same note text box right here this is internal and only you will see this note. Then we've got more options right here to either edit the order, edit the product, or open up a ticket with our help center. Again, the edit order and edit product is also available in the order details, which you can see right here, the order details and the product details, which we already went over. Then we've got the item ID, which we went over, the buyer's address, and as we continue moving to the right, we can see more information like the product's price, how much we paid for it, how much we sold it for, how much we profited, which store it sold on. So you can see the Shopify store here, the Amazon store here, any fees and taxes that we had to pay and the order ID on your supplier's website and on your online store. You can see more things like product tags and if I scroll all the way up, I've got this customized display button here, which can customize all of the columns that I just saw. I can also rearrange what I would like to see first, and I can toggle on and off all kinds of things that I would like or not like to see. For example, the customer's information, which is toggled off, days awaiting shipping, and so forth. And as you can see, I can simply toggle everything on, and we'll see all of this information on the right side. And now, as we can see, the columns are customized according to the options that I chose under Customize Display. Last but not least, you can export your orders and it will be exported to a CSV file if you need to see all of your orders on an Excel file. And before I forget, one of the most important things on the orders page is the filter option up here. Once you have a lot of orders and you want to find a specific order that answers to a certain condition, you'll be able to find that using the add filter option up here. So as soon as I click on it, you can see all of the filter options. For example, status. I would like to see all of the orders that are in ordered status that haven't shipped out yet because I want to see what's taking them so long to ship, for example. So now I'm going to click on done. And now I can see all of the orders in ordered status, which is just this pet harness right here. Now, as soon as I click on the X, of course, it's going to remove that filter and I'm going to go back to the default view. Now, of course, I can choose any filter I want, like filter by certain suppliers, certain regions, by the sold date, by a specific product tag, by buying prices, selling prices, order IDs, item IDs, selling quantities, addresses, buyers names, profits, products titles, internal notes that I left inside the orders, tracking numbers, days awaiting shipments, and more. Now you can also create a filter from a few different filters. For example, let's see all of my shipped orders. Okay, but now I'd like to add another filter of anything, for example, that has a buy price that's greater than five dollars okay and that is the three results that i'm seeing right here now if you'd like you can also save your filters give it a name like shipped over five dollars save that filter and now i'm going to clear my filters and if i click on add filter i'm going to hover over save filters and now you can see that I have this new filter called shipped over $5. So that is the orders page explanation. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below and we'll be more than happy to help you. Congratulations on getting your first orders, enjoy the profits and continue scaling to the moon.